Let's go straight out to the West Coast where Jessica Vassalero is standing by with the Wall Street Journal in our bureau in San Francisco. Um, Jessica, Apple making a, a big hire to run its retail operations. Uh, the man who previously ran, or is still running, I guess, Dixon's in the UK. Explain what Dixon's is. So Dixon's is a big box electronic retailer, sort of like a Best Buy out here in the US. It has multiple brands, um, sells everything from sort of washing machines to computers, uh, also has a big e-commerce presence. Um, you know, a company that is in many ways very different from Apple, which obviously we know um, has a very select number of products, a very sort of cookie cutter standard um, stores, but um, it's a big move and a hole that Apple's been looking to fill in their executive ranks for a long time now. Jessica, I'm curious, uh, we all know that on a square footage basis, Apple is probably the most uh, successful retailer in the world, um, and, and a lot of that credit goes to the pri prior head, Ron Johnson. Um, but, uh, but what kind of signal is Apple sending with this hire? Is it, a, is it about international sales? Is it about something else? How do you interpret it? Um, you know, it's difficult this time. Apple, of course, is, is saying little. Um, they are saying, in a press release, they highlighted sort of um, John Brow, it's, um, the new CEO's, uh, sort of experience around customer service. And that is something that Apple has emphasized a lot. Its stores are known for sort of rethinking customer service with their genius bars. Uh, so that's clearly a connection they want us to make in, in what they see. Um, but as of this moment, they, they haven't said a lot else. Obviously, international expansion is huge for the company in the retail sector. Um, recently, or you know, opened a number of stores in China, um, really, really pushing that around the world. So I think international experience is something they they are likely to emphasize and see as a plus. Uh, but it, it's hard to tell um, sort of what else. I mean, they probably just really like the guy and think he's good at his job, too. Right. Well, and so, and so do Dixon's shareholders because the stock went down on the, on the announcement of, of him going. But the, the important thing here, I think, is that, that Dixon's is not known as a, a high-end retailer. It's in some senses a bit low <coughs> rent um, from my experiences with going into Dixon's in, in the UK. Um, is that transition to what are premium products that sell never at a discount um, going to be gonna be possible? I think that's the big question. I mean, Apple has always said, and Ron Johnson, its previous chief of retail, which is now running JCPenney, has said that the stores are about the experience. And the reason that Apple stores are so successful, sure, they sell all these cool gadgets, but you can get those online. You can actually get those at Best Buy. Um, so Apple has always said the reasons its stores have clicked um, is sort of the experience they create, not so much the products. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he takes that same sort of tack um, or, or it's sort of how it works out. I mean, they also uh, have, Dixon's has some, some brands that are more involved in the technology services side of the business. Um, another sort of possible connection into tech services and customer service that Apple emphasizes so much. What do you, what do you make of this, Eric? Do you think, do you think this is a good, a good move? Um, well, clearly, I mean, the Dixons is a successful brand in Europe, and I think Apple's, I think Apple's got an important mission, particularly in China. Um, it's a successful place to go. It's a successful retailer of a variety of brands right. of, of electronics and other household products, right? But it isn't, it isn't, you don't go to Dixons for Dixons products. You go to Dixons to get right. your Sony or someone else. Right. And if this guy can, can work on the experience, and the experience is one that's always, always kind of evolving. You see mm. every so often that Apple will rejigger its stores, re-architect them a little bit. You'll see different, uh, different things. You'll see more room devoted to specific Apple products. Third-party products are kind of getting marginalized more. I'm beginning to hear from people. Mm. And so that's one thing. But, but I think Apple has its job one right now is really attacking China. I think that's really where it's at right now. And the demand in China is so high that I don't think Apple could open a store a day for the next, you know, for the next month or a, a store a month, for the, you know, for the rest of the year and still meet the demand over there, the, mm. the way the iPhone is that, that, That's an interesting point, Jessica. Um, Ch China is key, but as we know, Apple doesn't necessarily have to open the stores because other people are faking them and well, opening yeah. them themselves. So that cuts back on the cost quite a bit. But no, to, to a serious point, though, is this guy going to be able to really push the brand in China, do you think? 
Well, it's interesting. I mean, Apple, uh, and it's unique in this way, it's sort of senior management team is really responsible for the brand. And actually, you know, there's a whole marketing arm that even the head of retail isn't, you know, they obviously have a role in the brand, but, but that's set at a higher level and the photos and the images are picked by different people. So he doesn't really need to be the keeper of the Apple brand. I mean, the, the way the company works, that's sort of infused anyway. So I think it will be a much more logistics role, probably, you know, expansion type role. Um, there are plenty of people, the design chief, marketing chief at Apple who are really responsible for the look and feel stuff. And while the head of retail has always been involved, um, that's not necessarily even their primary focus. So um, I don't think, I, I think he'll be joining a team that sort of does, has a vision they, they want to stick with, right? The challenge will be, where do we open stores? How many do we open? Um, and that, that's probably a big challenge for the company going forward. They, their stores are really tight on space. They need to find ways to, to make bigger stores. Um, that's probably part of you know, what his focus will be in the future.